And here she is in all her splendor. <laughs> it's our solar powered hydroponic garden. Um, let me walk you through the process and show you how it works. Uh, well, first of all, the process starts with this solar cell right here. When the sun hits the cell, well, it powers a small water pump that we have inside this plastic bin. I'd take it out, but if I do, then it's going to stop pumping. <laughs> you won't be able to see her, her stream. But then um, I leave this pump through a garden hose to a piece of PVC, uh, which I've got um, suspended on top of both, both our, uh, our growing tubes. Got a couple of spares over here. I'm going to be dealing with those in the next couple of days, but for now, um, these are our tubes, which are filled with Spanish moths all the way from top to bottom. And you can see we've got a really, really good stream right there. Good stream of water in each one of our tubes. See this one? Right there? Yeah. So we've got plenty of water, and plenty of oxygen in the water, and some fertilizer in there also. Um, and so each tube has... Um, in each hole, we have a, um, well here we've got a, a tomato plant, but um, in the other areas, and even the, uh, the drain pipe over here that I'm using, and I'll show you how that works in, in a minute. So each of the tubes has a hole, and inside each of the holes, we have a plant. Uh, right now we've got squash in here, we've got uh, peppers, and tomatoes and so each two drips into our drain right there and this one as well it's a slow drip and then this now is then led to our other drain pipe which is angled I put a couple of holes in there to make sure that it drains properly see this and then in the this uh, drain over here uh, we've got some more squash celery Planted the celery there just a couple of days ago and it's sprouting already. Um, and then this drain completes our circuit and drips right back into our bin to uh, complete perfect circuit self watering garden. And uh, we just uh, sprouted those seeds um, about a week ago, so we're really looking forward to some. Um, some growth and vegetables and uh, some fruit and then we're going to be using the other tubes to uh, extend the garden by another um, 15 or 20 uh, plants in there and then we'll keep building so listen um, it's a pretty simple process I use some two by fours to uh, to build the base uh, but ultimately it all starts with uh, a really really neat little pump uh, that's solar powered and uh, hey listen the best thing about this whole apparatus right here is that it cost under a hundred dollars everything you see here costs less than a hundred dollars to build including the pump the solar pump which is a fifteen dollar pump on Amazon I include the link to uh, to the pump here in the description of this video so uh, go ahead and download your own and, and, uh, and get your own pump um, score some PVC somewhere uh, I found uh, mine at a junkyard, scrapyard, and uh, and then two by four. You know, it's pretty affordable. So for under hundred dollars, got a whole hydroponic garden. Not going to be weeding <laughs> any of this. There's not going to be any weeding, pulling weeds, or no bugs. And um, and then of course you add your fertilizer and nutrients um, right to the water, right to the bin, um, and then um, just let God do His work. And so uh, I'll be posting updates periodically. Um, and here she is, a uh, self-sustained, self-watering, solar-powered hydroponic garden for God's glory. Thanks for watching. God bless you.